booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my June 2019 TBR. Say it with me everybody, it's TBR time, yay! <laughs> I got so excited on Tuesday earlier, like last week when I saw the list went up, I messaged Garrett and I said, the list for uh, the Romance Readers group came up on Goodreads, guess what I'm doing tonight? <laughs> Building my TBR. So if you are new to my channel, how I do my TBRs every month, is that I base them off of all the challenges that I'm doing. So I am participating, of course, in the Romance Readers Reading Group on Goodreads Challenge for June. That link will be listed in the description box below. I'm also, of course, doing Romance Opoly, so those books will be talked about here as well. I am doing my Audible Challenge um, that I, it's a personal challenge. Um, and I decided not to do the Pick It For Me Challenge for the month of, um, for the summer for June, July, and August because of the Summer Romance Book Bingo. Of course, if you are not familiar with that, what that is, it is a three month long kind of challenge that, uh, or event that I am hosting along with a bunch of other hosts. Um, Lindsay from The Wandering Reader, um, Sissy from The Romance Queen of Booktube, Anita from Anita Reads, Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books, uh, Christine from Kizzy Reads. Am I forgetting somebody? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting somebody? I don't think so. Um, but they will, everything will be listed in the description box below. So please go check out that video um, and check out the Goodreads group as well because there's more information there. But anyway, I decided not to do the Pick It For Me challenge um, for the summer so I can fit my romance book bingo books in. Um, so I've got a lot to talk about you guys as usual. So let's get right started. Let's get right started. Let's jump in and get started, you guys. <laughs> I think I need more sugar. <laughs> Or perhaps less sugar. Something. I need something. So, of course, we're going to start off with the Romance uh, romance Readers Reading Group Challenge on Goodreads. Excuse me. So, essentially what this is, is a... I've been doing this for three years in a row. This is my... This is my third year in a row that I've done it. And I have not missed a month since I started. So, essentially, they give you ten prompts. And you need to pick a book that fits in each prompt. So, I'm going to read the prompts for you and tell you guys what book I picked. Some of them are, uh, and, and the books that, and I try to pick some of these books and fit them into spots on my bingo square. So if that's the case, I will mention where, like what category I'm using for my bingo square. So in case you guys have the same category, you can think about maybe the same book. So the first one is, um, J is for June. Read a book that starts with J or a book whose author's first or last name starts with J. The book I'm going to be reading is His to Claim by Brenda Jackson. Um, this is book number four in the Westmoreland Legacy series. Of course, as usual, I'm not going to talk a lot about all of these books because I don't know that much about them, but I'm super excited to read them and all the pictures will be up here, of course. Um, category number two, Bird of the Month, is Dove. Um, the Dove represents peace of the deepest kind. It soothes and quiets our worried or troubled thoughts, enabling us to find renewal in the silence of the mind. The Dove's role as a spirit messenger, maternal symbol, and liaison impact an inner peace that helps us go with our lives calmly and with purpose. Read a book where someone makes a spiritual journey, so an inspirational romance would be perfect for this, or someone uh, works through a difficult time to find peace, or someone, or features someone in the military returning home, or a book where the main character, with a main character who's also a mother. The book I'm going to be reading is A Virgin River Christmas by Robin Carr. This is book number four in the Virgin River series, and this is about a former military who returns home. So that's how it fits into the category. Uh, category number three is the featured author challenge. I was so stoked when I saw this because the queen of romance, they always pick a queen of romance or they're doing that this year, a queen of romance and then a princess of romance. So you can pick one of those two authors to read a book by them or they give you some other prompts too if you don't want to read either of the authors. But as soon as I saw the queen of romance for this month, I knew I had to read the author because it's Susan Mallory. Um, and the princess of romance is Anna Campbell. Um, who's an author I'm not familiar with her work but I am going to be reading a Susan Mallory and that will be only his and this is going to be Fool's Gold book number six and for my summer romance book bingo this is for the category that you can spell sun on the cover so when I say spelling sun on the cover it means either using the letters in the title or the author's name so sun Susan S U N see how that worked guys so if you are looking for something for that category, read a Susan Mallory and you will be set. Um, category number four is graduation. It's the time of year for graduations in the U.S. Graduations are a rite of passage, whether from college, high school, or kindergarten. 
Read a book that includes a rite of passage or a graduation or a YA or new adult book or a coming of age story or a book where one of the main characters has school age children, a, ch a school age child or children. I will actually be reading Finding Dandelion by Lex Martin. This is book number two in the Dearest series, and this is a new adult novel. I read the first book, Dearest Clementine, last month, and I really enjoyed it. And this one is, is available as part of the Audible Romance Package, so I decided to go ahead and read this one because I really wanted to jump into the next book in this series. Category number five, National Black Bear Day. It's the first Saturday in June, in case you wanted to celebrate. National Black Bear Day celebrates America's black bears with the hopes of educating people about bears and dispelling myths. Read a book with a bear shifter or other shifter or with an outdoor setting or features nature on the cover. I will be reading A Creed in Stone Creek by Linda Leal Miller. This is book number five in the Montana Creed series. And this one has an outdoor setting. He's a rancher. It takes place outside. It fits the category. Category number six, the first day of summer. Also my nephew's second birthday. Just saying. Yes, he was born on the first day of summer. Um, June 21st marks the first day of summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Summer, summer is often a time for travel and relaxation and brings to mind sunny days, beaches, and hammocks. Uh, read a book where, read a book perfect for the beach or set in summer or features a vacation no matter what time of year or travel. Book I'm going to be reading is Unleashed by Diana Palmer. Um, this is book number 50. <laughs> 50 in the Long Tall Texan series. Pretty sure you don't need to read these in order. Um, but yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this one. I have not read a Diana Palmer in a really long time, but I know she writes some great kind of beachy, not necessarily books that take place at a beach, but great summer contemporary type romances, and this one looks really great. I'm also reading this one for a square on my summer romance book bingo, and it's a cowboy romance. I mean, that fits perfectly, right? Uh, category number seven, Queen's Day. Uh, New, New Zealanders celebrate the Queen's birthday on the first Monday in June. New Zealand is a, is a constitutional monarchy and Queen Elizabeth is the current head of state. Read a book featuring royalty or set in New Zealand or has a character named Elizabeth or a book with an outdoor sport featuring, featured somehow in the story. The long weekend marks the opening of ski season in New Zealand because of course winter is approaching in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, so the book I will be reading is Cowboy to the Core by Maisie Yates. I just talked about this one in my anticipated reads for June. Um, <laughs> book number six in the Gold Valley series. This one has an outdoor sport in it, and it is horseback riding. Absolutely an outdoor sport. Um, and for my summer, uh, my summer romance book, Bingo, this is going to uh, tick off a category for that. This is a summer 2019 release because it comes out later in June. So yay, that's exciting. Uh, category number eight is Western Australia Day. Western Australia Day, formerly known as Foundation Day, is celebrated the first Monday in June. It commemorates the founding of the Swan River Colony in 1829, which opened Western Australia to British settlement. Read a book set in Australia or with an Australian character or author or a historical romance or has the numbers 18 or 29 in the page count. I actually decided to go with a historical romance. And that is The Duke Next Door by Celeste Bradley. This is book number two in the Heiress Bride series. I read the first book in this series last year and I really enjoyed it. And I was looking for a historical. So I was going through my um, my uh, my list of series that I'm currently reading through. And I came across this one and I thought, yes. So I decided to pick this one up. Category number nine. I will be honest, guys. When I read the description of this one, I had a bit of an issue with it. And I actually read it to Garrett, and Garrett had the same thoughts. So I didn't write this, you guys. It's from the Romance Readers Group, but I, I just didn't know if part of this was really appropriate. But um, number nine, Father's Day. In the U.S., Father's Day is celebrated on June 16th this year. Father's Day uh, began, began being celebrated in the U.S. in the 20th century, and it's meant to author, to author, to author, to honor <laughs> fathers and male parenting. Read a book with a main character who is a father or becomes a father in the book or a book published in the 20th century or a book featuring bondage since ties are a cliched Father's Day gift. Sorry. I just, yeah, you had me right up until then. I just didn't. And Garrett and I both kind of went, no, no, we wouldn't have included that last one. <laughs> Anyway, the book that I'm going to be reading is Wyoming Cowboy Sniper by Nicole Helm. Yay. This book, I think, came out in May, so I'm very excited about this one. 
Um, Carson's and Delaney's Battle Tested, book number two. And in this book, our main character becomes a father. Um, and for my summer romance book bingo, this one fits the category for a book published in 2019. Gotta love it. And last but not least, reader's choice, read any book of your choosing. And that is Sweet Summer Sunset by Dolores Fossen. This one comes out late June or July, so I'm super stoked about this one. Book number three in the Coldwater, Texas series. I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. I Oh, it's going to be so fantastic. So uh, next up, for my summer romance book bingo. So my goal, personally, is going to fill one bingo card. I want to completely fill one bingo card. I'll actually put a picture of my bingo card up here if you guys are interested. So um, there are 25 categories on that card, including the reader's choice. So I remove the reader's choice because I can peg any book into that spot. It's not a big deal. That leaves 24 spots over three months. That is eight books a month. So I've already pegged eight or four books in from my romance readers challenge, which is going to be my goal every month. That leaves me four other books that I can randomly pick challenges and try and find books for them. So that's the way that I am working this challenge. Everybody can do their own thing differently. So the other challenge, and I literally just did a random generator, random number generator to pick them. Um, for my next one, um, and what I mean by that is, I made a list of all of my challenges and I numbered them one through 24 and then I picked a random one from there. My card, I picked randomly. Like uh, with the link that I give to, to give you a random bingo card, I picked the very first one that came up. And I love, Elizabeth made the greatest um, explanation for this because she had the same thing. She called it her Mary Poppins card because it was practically perfect in every way. And I kind of love that. I absolutely love that because the first card that came up for me, I was like, oh my gosh, this card is perfect because it had so many great there was a wide variety of books on there. I have an Amish romance. I have a paranormal romance. I have a book over 500 pages. I have, you know, like there's all kinds of things that it just seems to be a really great mix. So thanks Elizabeth for coining that phrase because I absolutely love it. So for the rest of them, first of all, the group read, there will be a group read for the month of June. And that is hot in Hellcat Canyon by Julianne Long. Um, this is book number one in the Hellcat Canyon series. So this one will obviously be getting read in June. And then for the other authors, or the other categories, I should say. So here's where I've got a couple of print books. Do I have both of them here? No, one of the print books that I will be. I actually do not have that many print books this month. I have a lot of ebooks this month. So, um, but for my print book is Author Who Shares Your Name. Now, I debated for about 3.2 seconds to read the next book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series, but I'm pretty sure it's over 700 pages. And I think if I'm going to read that book, I'd more count it for the book over 700 pages. But I decided to go, I looked at my shelf and I found this one. I forgot that I had this one. Now, I read this one about 10 years ago, but I decided to give it a reread. The first time I read it, I read it on ebook, but I found this copy at a thrift store. So I decided to pick it up. And that's Sarah Dessen's Along for the Ride. So Sarah and Sarah. Just as simple as that. So you can use this book for your own if your name is Sarah or Dessen. <laughs> also, just an FYI, I will accept... For those of you who have names like Elizabeth or Caitlin or something like that, um, I'm thinking Elizabeth gets my own middle name and plus Elizabeth, um, and Katie, Caitlin is my niece's name. So if you have an author with a name like Beth or Eliza or Katie or Kate, do you know what I mean? Like if you can short form your name and the author's name is short formed, I will abs absolutely accept that for this category. So, you know. This is a, of course, YA novel, and this was super adorable. I remember when I read it, I really, really loved it. So I'm really looking forward to reading it again. Um, and then, let me put that over there. And then the next category is a medical romance. And I kind of did a search, and I found this book, and it's called Healing Dr. Alexander. And this is by Tracy Wolf. This is um, a Harlequin super romance novel. So this one looks really good. Um, a Harlequin or Mills and Boone in print. I made sure to make note of that this year because I think a lot of my UK friends were confused by what a Harlequin is. And when I talk about them, I am talking about Mills and Boone. So those of you who are in the UK or Australia, that's what I'm talking about. So that's why I put both there. So everybody kind of knows what I'm talking about now. I could have picked anything off my shelf. I just kind of did a random look. And I'm going with um, Like One of the Family by Kimberly, Kimberly Van Meter. Very much looking forward to this one. I really enjoy her writing. And the last one is a workplace romance. So I did a search on Goodreads for a list 
um, if you guys are unfamiliar with the list feature on Goodreads, it gives you, like, if you type in, like, workplace romance, it will give you different lists that have been compiled by users on Goodreads of books that contain that subject. So I did a search for this, and this is one of the top books that came up. And if you guys couldn't tell, I'm kind of a new fan of Christina Lauren. And this book came up, and I'm like, yes, I must read it. And that's Roomies by Christina Lauren. So I guess somehow this features a workplace romance. I came up. I was super excited. I put on hold at my library. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Um, so the next thing is the Audible. What do I call it? The Audible Romance Package Category Challenge. <laughs> For lack of a shorter name. Um, so, excuse me while I reach. I'm way back here. Okay, so we have our jar. So in this jar, what I did at the very beginning of the year is I took um, 24 categories from the Audible Romance package because they, they do list a whole bunch. I think it's 40 categories in total. And I picked 24 of them. And each month I pull two categories out of here. Then I'm going to go on my computer and I am going to look up books that are going to fit those categories. So yeah, so I'm super excited. So let's reach in here and see what we got for the month of June. One slip of paper. I'm trying not to read what they say ahead of time before I open them here. And a second slip of paper. So there we go. So there's my two pieces of paper. We shall put that back right there. The first one is... Da -da -da -da. Ooh, a hero. A hero romance. Interesting. Perhaps a military kind of an idea. We shall see. And the other one is Edwardian. Very interesting. So I'm going to go check and see what I can find for these, and I will be back in a few minutes. And I'm back. So also with glasses, because I was looking at my computer, and my eyes were starting to get tired. So I apologize for the glare that you can probably see in my glasses. <laughs> so, as I was saying, we're on to the Audible Romance Package Category Challenge. Say that three times fast. So the first one that I got was Hero, and the book that I went through and picked, there were 22 pages of Hero books. Everything from firefighters to military. I did notice on the main page, like you can scroll down and get a list of all of the um, books that are in that category. But on the main page, it did happen to show just one of the guys by Kristen Higgins, which if you decide to do this as well and you're looking for a book to read for that category, I highly recommend that book. It is probably hands down my favorite Kristen Higgins novel. It's about a firefighter. It is adorable and I love it. Go ahead and read that one. But because I read that one three times, I thought I should try something different. So the book I went with is A Sure Thing by Marie Hart. This is book number one in the Donegan series. This is about a man who is former military. It looks like he's been discharged from the whatever. I think he's a Marine. And he's now teaching a self-defense class. And a local woman is taking the self-defense class. And of course, it sounds like there's going to be a relationship between them. This one is being labeled as very, very spicy. So I am looking forward to it. I don't know if I've read Marie Hart before. I want to say that I have, but I can't absolutely remember off the top of my head. So I'm looking forward to this one. And then for Edwardian, am I saying that correctly? Um, so the time of um, like Downton Abbey and stuff like that. Um, there were not a lot for this one. There was one page and a bit. So like one and a half pages maybe. Um, and the book that I ended up picking is The Lost Heiress by Rose Rosanna. M. White, and this is book number one in the Ladies of the Manor series. This is a longer audiobook. It's a little over 15 hours, but it looks really, really good. Um, it's about a woman who's, it, it's also being labeled as a Christian historical, about a woman who was born in Morocco and then finds out that she's like the lost heiress to some fortune in, in England. So she travels back to England to, you know, kind of figure out what's going on. And it sounds really interesting, and I thought, yeah, I, I, that's definitely the one that I'd like to read. And of course, there will be a romance in there, of course. Um, and the second last little category we have here is the Romance Opoly. The Romance Opoly is hosted, it's a year-long event, and it's hosted by the girls at the Under the Cover Book Blog and Jessica from Peace Love Books. And you actually have a Monopoly board, and I roll virtual dice every month, and I pick three categories. So the three that I got this month, very excited. The first one was Sweet Street. And this is Small Town Contemporary Romance, and I will be reading Hope Flames by Jackie Burton. This is book number one in the Hope series. I have yet to read a Jackie Burton. I hear a lot of people talk about them, about her work, excuse me. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. It's got to involve a dog. It looks adorable. Cannot wait. The next one is Taxi. 
And for Taxi, you had to pick either um, a book from one of the girls at the undercover, the book under the covers book blog or Peace Love Books. For every category, they recommend you books. And I tend to look at those a great deal, especially if it's a category that I'm not 100% familiar with. And you had to go through their different categories, like all the different categories, and pick a book. Um, so I think, did I? Um, I think I went with a category that I've already used. So I wasn't picking one for something that I, a category I haven't hit yet. And the book I'm picking is Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. This is book number one in the Royal series. I read Aaron Watt last year, I think it was, and I think the book was called The Real Thing. And it's, it's a YA romance, but it was really cute and I really enjoyed it. So this one I'm looking forward to. I've heard a lot of people say good things about this book, so it should be fun. And then last but not least, I got Subway Uptown. There's a Subway Uptown and a Subway Downtown. But the one for Uptown had to be a chef or a foodie romance. So something that involved a restaurant or a chef or something like that. And I have this book. Um, I actually, I, I was looking around and I saw this one on the Kindle, available for the Kindle for free. So I decided to pick it up and it's called The Sweetest Seduction by Krista McHugh. And it's book number one in the Kelly Brothers series. It's, it's a shorter book. It's under 200 pages, but it looked really cute. And I think they run a restaurant, so it sounds adorable. And the very, very last little quick category here, I do have two review books to read this month. Um, the first one, of course, the one, I'm both super excited about both of these. And the first one is um, The Summer of Sunshine and Margot by Susan Mallory. This is, oh, this book is going to be so good. I was so thrilled when NetGalley approved my request for this one and I cannot wait to read it. And the other one I mentioned also in my anticipated, so out of those anticipated reads for June, I am reading three of those books. So that is super exciting this month. Um, the other one is uh, Lori Foster's Sisters of Summer's End, the second book in the Cooper's uh, Charm series. So I cannot wait to read this one as well. So anyway, guys, that is it. You guys know these are slightly longer videos. Um, but yeah, I, I'm super excited. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought about them. And yeah, what books are you excited about that you have on your June TBRs? Or what books are you reading for the Summer Book Bingo and for what categories? Um, in the uh, Goodreads group, which, which I will of course list below, we have opened a new thread as of today, the day that I'm filming this video, to go in and tell us what categories you got on your bingo card and what books you plan to read. So feel free to go in there and update it as the summer progresses if you find books and, you know, just to maybe bounce ideas off of other people or what have you. But yeah, definitely check that out. And until my next video, guys, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so very much for watching. Bye, guys.